G'day everybody and welcome to this lesson for Twice by Catfish and the Bottlemen. The start of the song is a little bit hectic, let me break down the first four bars slowly. We play through those four bars again. The second time around, the fill is just a little bit different. Now here's that whole intro section up to speed. For the verses, there's just a really nice tight groove that just goes kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. At the end of the verse, there's a tiny fill and that leads us into the pre-chorus, which is just kick drums. We're still in the pre-chorus, but the last bar starts to build up on the toms like this. And that build up takes us into the chorus, which is a slightly modified version of the intro. From that fill, it's back into the verse and then back into the pre-chorus, just the same as we did it the first time. In the second chorus, we're going to play twice as long and at the halfway point, the fill is just a little bit different. And for the second part of this double chorus, we're going to go back into the groove we used for the intro. The bridge in this song has a nice and slightly unusual beat. If you haven't done this kind of thing before, it might be a little bit tricky, but let me break it down slowly and hopefully you can pick it up. For these types of grooves, I often look at what's playing together and what's playing separate. So for this particular groove, here's how I would break it down. Together, right, left, bass. Together, right, left, bass. Together, bass. Together, right, left, bass. Together, right, left, bass. Together, bass. I think as soon as you do that, you can start to see a bit of a pattern and that will make it a lot easier to practice. I'll play it up to speed just so you can hear what it's going to sound like.
coming out of this bridge, the song slows down and it's just a big build up on the toms, but just remember to stretch the time out so that we can get to that new tempo. And then for the outro, we have a big heavy feeling groove that's actually quite simple. There is one tricky little fill I can hear in there, and here's how that goes. From that point in the song, we're playing the same groove, but up on the crash cymbal. And then to finish the song, we borrow a fill from right near the start of the song, and that just kind of wraps things up really nice. And there we go, that's the drum part to Twice by Catfish and the Bottom End. I like how tight the drums are in this song, so it's something that you can really try and nail when you're playing along to the recording. Anyway, have fun with that, happy practicing and I'll see you at the next lesson.